Okay, uh, we're here at the new shop today. First time we're going to fire up the 1361 for this year. We're going to test everything. Got my safety valve over here. We're going to test it. I got it on a ball valve so I can shut it to readjust it and then return it back on. We got to get this adjusted up. And I'm trying my own spring there, see how that works out. And hopefully, if that, I can get that to work. So far, it's been working out. Made my own springs, calculated it myself, and all of that. And uh, I think it's going to work out fine. Uh, I got to make the rest of it now. But anyway, we're going to test it out, make sure our new throttle setup is okay, and some other things. Just it's always good to test fire them before you get out to the club, and then find out you can't test fire them. So uh, we'll uh, get back in a few minutes. Starting to rain now, anyway. But oh well, that's the story of my life. All right, about uh, 20, 25 minutes went by. We had a rainstorm. Everything got wet, of course. Uh, what the hell? Anyway. Uh, Coming up on pressure. What do we got now, man? 80. 80 pounds. Coming up on 80. Now that's uh, that's our famous Mo air compressor. Right now we have 70, 80 pounds. It's still pumping. Perfect, listen to that. I'll get a close up for you. You need to have this little valve here in order to relieve the pressure. The prototypes had them too. I just put it on a valve rather than have it on a little petcock. It's easier. That's like the sound I like to hear. The um, red hand on the right is the main level. The white one is the equalizing pressure. There are, and the uh, white one on the left is the train line. And the red one you see on the left is the um, uh, train engine brake. So apply the engine brake, Dan. Now you see that going up now we got full maximum whatever it says they're 30 pounds have you reduced the air the other ones go down there they go now that's putting the train brake and the tender part of this considered a train brake I'm going to open the blow down a little bit, let some water out so we get it back to us. We're, we're pitching downhill right here, so we're getting a weird... Our new gauge base, by the way, is working beautiful. I'll get a picture of that for you. There it is. There's the old one. You see, they're different. They got a little different. And uh, of course, you're downhill too. So that one, if you were level, it would come up. It would be a uh, lower, actually. So right now, we have 
the gauge glasses are set a little bit different, but that's the one I just modified, and I'm quite pleased with the way it's working so far. That's a good point Ken just made. Now we've got the, the new safety valve, we've got that on a, uh, a ball valve so I can shut it off, but I think what I'm going to do the next time I check them, I'm going to put them both on a ball valve so I can check them independently. Where's that going? That's good. Okay. Try it. Let's do it again. Now, just close that. Water is good. Yeah, now I could probably take that apart right now, but it's so hot. Man. Yeah. I'll do it on air. I can get it to stop on air. I'll be on air. Hydro. That's another way to do it. Um, prototypically, you're supposed to do these, check, check these with what's called a dead weight gauge tester. It's a special unit that you, you can test them with. Um, they use oil and everything and somehow they test them and that's the proper way to test them. Highly calibrated gauge and so on but we don't have that. Well, if you were building pressure, it would do it. If you turn this on. We've gone as far as we can with the testing today. Everything seems to be fine. The whistle's okay now. Just gotta have dry steam with those. That's the only way you can do them right. Safety valve, I need a little, a little bit more work to the seat. I gotta grind it in a little bit. Otherwise, it's sh shutting down, working perfectly. My spring calculations were perfect. And I'm um, good shape there. And uh, so we're gonna blow down now. And uh, next time you'll see us, we'll be at the PLS. I know you wanna do it. Alright. All right. Uh, the idea is leave a little steam in there and the theory is that the heat dries it out but you know what I fired it up today before I did that water was coming out of it so you got to it's hard to keep it completely dry but anyway that's all from now from here we'll see you at the track see you on the next video Thanks for watching.